Okay, the reason why I was like, let's talk, but let's, oh shit, did we break it? I can technically tighten it but fabric is not as stretchy that way and I wanted to do the lines going up and down unfortunately that meant I have had to cut out the up and down color because the stretch was not stretching at least not enough to get my head through it and then I made this one which is enough to get my head through it and that's why the lines go that way I also didn't hem the hand part or the arms because I don't know why I just did, I just felt like I don't know kind of like the raw look the bottom of the shirt here technically was surged because I was gonna hem it but then I was like nah, never mind thank you guys for watching today's video this is the final not so tight let's just have let's just have a moment okay let's have a moment so the reason why i made this random shirt was i couldn't get myself to figure out what to do like creative wise i couldn't get myself to think of what to make what dress to design and i would have half ideas and then tonight like our internet was out it's i think it's still out and because of that i couldn't browse pinterest and my mobile data wasn't working and i was getting frustrated that i didn't know what to do and i pulled out like a ton of pink fabrics back there because i want to make something for a valentine's day themed event that i was invited to provide dresses for and i have some dresses already that you know i've made in the past that will work perfectly for a valentine's day theme and i'm happy to provide them then i thought to myself oh it would be awesome to make something new and then feature it at this event and then it would be exciting because they get lots of pictures the event is on january 23rd you know there's time to make a dress it just means pushing my wedding dress series down a bit which is fine because i want to be in a better mood okay the reason why i was like let's talk let's talk. Did we break it? <sighs> My son is in the room connected to that wall. I always check the baby monitor app. I don't think it's gonna load. I think it's not working because the internet's not working. Anyway, sorry about that. The reason why I was like, let's chat, let's talk is because I wanted to be honest with you guys. I have been working my butt off for YouTube, but I noticed that I've been dealing with chronic stress. I actually want to design a dress that talks about my chronic stress and a dress that's inspired by it. It's something that I'm just so sick and tired of, but it is always having a reason to stress. It's not just because I stress easily from being a highly sensitive person, but it's because of our current situation, just our finances, you know, just personal stuff just gets to me. And it's every single month I feel like I'm barely hanging on. And this month was just like the worst so far. <sighs> and because of that, I find myself getting in these little funks 
where I just like don't want to make anything that requires a lot of thinking but I'll like have the urge to sew and be in my sewing room because I want to film something I think about my YouTube and so I stress my YouTube because like I want to be able to do that but yet I'm not in the mood to film I'm not in the mood for something extravagant so it's like my heart wants these special you know ideas in my head but I'm so stressed from other things in life that I don't know what to do and I feel like okay I'll just do something easy so I chose this did I do it perfectly probably not I don't know why it's so loose I follow the pattern but it's fine maybe that's just the pattern or it could be my fabric I, all I have to do is tighten it otherwise it's actually a really comfy sweater <sighs> anyway I wanted to still sew and feel like I accomplished something it's not because I'm thinking of ideas that stress me out it's because life is stressing me out and it makes it really hard to have the energy to come into my sewing room at the end of the day and do something you know also on top of that like my sleep is not going really well I feel like I'm kind of isolated too much anyway there's just too much now I'm distracted there's just too much going on so anyway if you made it this far and you're listening to me thank you so much I am just trying to push through this tough time I want to believe that there's something beautiful coming and then I also just hope that maybe my story can inspire people to keep moving forward despite things happening in life that's all I can hope for at this point you know is to be an inspiration and to continue telling my story if you want to join my life here on YouTube and you haven't already subscribed it would mean a lot to me if this is your sort of thing I would just it would mean a lot to me to have you here I'm gonna keep going I keep saying that I'm gonna keep going I want to look back on this a year from now and just think to myself like I'm so glad I kept going I just want to know that the end of this chronic stress era is gonna be over and I can enter a I'm relaxed happy productive and living my best life era because yes life will always have problems there will always be something going on but does it have to be the same thing like all the time I hope not my husband and I are trying to work really hard on getting ourselves out of our situation sometimes I feel like I'm just a burden to people like oh I'm just the girl with like a million excuses as to why I can't afford to go do that thing or I can't afford to go here I can't afford to do this and also I feel like it's sometimes stresses me out to think people who don't understand what it's like to have chronic stress a and also to struggle with finances which I know there's a lot of us out there that probably struggle with finances so I know you guys know the stress of that tough times lately in with the economy but what I'm trying to say is some people don't fully understand that and then judge your actions and that could just be really hard like you need a support system people that aren't gonna be just judging you for like oh if you don't have money then why did you go thrifting why did you buy this or that and it's just like imagine feeling like you can't get anything for your passions so you do the bare minimum if possible which is the thrift store to me and you go there and you hope maybe you'll get lucky and you'll find a really amazing deal on something will it cost you money yes could you put it on a credit card yes will someone judge you for putting it on a credit card yes why did you put it on a credit card because in my mind in those moments if i can turn a beautiful piece of fabric or some sort of item into something that will get me to a point where i make money it's worth it it's an investment and that's what's been going on with me lately and the reason why i continue to do this and continue to afford to do it despite my circumstances i was hoping to be making money hence the shop i tried to do i haven't put anything new on my shop yet but i'm also moving it over and i've talked about this but it's like i'm trying to do these little things on the side and get my life going and just recently my husband was able to get a work car so technically the payments will be paid by work the only way we were able to even get one and that's gonna save him a lot of money on gas because we were just spending so much on gas for his work because he drives a lot and he has to pay for his own gas we finally solved that that means that I actually have a car now so I've been telling myself I would love to get connected with other people find group 
groups to be a part of, all of that. I feel like I need community, I need some sort of support system so that despite my circumstances, I will have something that like gets my mood, you know, happy. Like I feel like I just need to be involved somewhere. I need like a team of people I wish I could afford to pay someone to come work with me, but I can't and I just, I want that so bad. I just, I want to be connected with other people who are passionate just like I am, particularly passionate in fashion. So I don't know when or how that could happen, but I'm gonna keep on hoping and keep on pushing myself to move forward. And you know, if that means that I'm just creating like an easy project like this to feel like I accomplished something that I'm capable, then so be it. Yes, my passion is in dresses for photo shoots, but also music videos, and that's what I want to dip into next. Oh my gosh, and weddings. Okay, so we've got wedding dresses. Wedding dress series hopefully will be starting before spring. But besides that, how do I forget what I was going to say? Oh! <laughs> Okay, now I remember I was saying music videos is what I want to dive into creating dresses that can be in a music video. Not just like my own music, which I do want to share, but also finding other people who might have a story to tell, who might even be interested in either if they have a song already recorded, doing a music video and designing a dress for that and also recording the music video and editing it because I love that and I used to do it all the time and I feel like I never truly did music videos the way I dreamed of it so I'd love to do it it's never too late right <laughs> to go back to an old dream the other thing that I really would love to do too is to design dresses that will be inspired by people and just people that I meet or people that share a story or something they're going through or maybe I pick a topic and I find people who you know can contribute to that topic this is an older idea i've had for a while now i've attempted it in another way but i've never done it with fashion design so that would be really cool to get into that i just i want to be an inspirational channel and i want to be that channel where all these dresses are like they've got meaning you come to this channel and you're encouraged you're inspired you're excited i don't know just all the things yeah hopefully i can get those things started i feel like 2024 is going to be my year and even though it's starting off with my chronic stress that freaking 2023 left me with, it's fine. We'll get there. We'll figure it out. But either way, I really appreciate you guys. And if you, if you did listen this far and you did listen to this video, I am so thankful that you are willing to hear me out. Also, yeah, I don't have any makeup on. I'm just, this is like a vulnerable raw moment. It's what, like 2 a.m.? Almost 2 a.m. It's 1.46 a.m. in the morning and my husband fell asleep without telling me he went to bed. I went to the room to go show him my shirt I finished thinking, oh, he's still awake. He was asleep. He was literally in bed with the light on and he's snoring. And we're supposed to get together before he falls asleep, you know, have our little time talking and praying and then if he goes to bed before me, I just come back to my room. Looks like he forgot about me tonight. <sighs> Rude. He probably got so bored he fell asleep, honestly. <laughs> because the internet's out. Anyway, I've been talking too long. Update. So, I wanted to keep the previous footage that I made and the turtleneck and everything in it because so much happened since I recorded that. Stick around. I'm, I'm gonna explain. Let me explain. I don't know if I screwed up on this one or what, but you know what? Here's the updated one. This fabric's a little thin for my liking, but it's comfy. I did mess up on the back. Did I really make it if I didn't, right? If I made it, I definitely messed up. Now that I look at it, the lines are going side to side. It's fine. I got some news, okay? And I'm not going to officially share the news like 100%. My channel is going to be changing and I'm going to briefly touch on this in the next video as well. But I'm going to have an official video. That's two videos from now, I think. Should be. Should be that way. That's the plan. In this video though, it started off with me being really stressed out and opening up to you guys about my stress, my chronic stress. And it's been real, okay? It's... It's been a journey. However, since that video was made and since I made that turtleneck, I had a breakthrough, I guess you could say. I have been trying to figure out exactly what's going on, like why, why is there hair in my mouth? <laughs> I've been trying to figure out like what is going on with my life? Why do I feel like 
I cannot seem to get past this giant like obstacle in my life which has always been financial stress. I have tried so many different avenues, paths, I have tried regular jobs that made me miserable and I just end up back in a position where I'm like Ugh. And then once we had my son, I stayed home full time and my husband was the only one working. But I also still wanted to fulfill my dreams and so I started sewing. And I started sewing when my son was born, like officially started sewing. And it's been an amazing journey throughout this whole time and I'm so thankful that I learned. However, we still were suffering financially and this economy did not get any better. Rent kept going up every time we had to move and we bought a house but we had to sell it to pay off our debt because we couldn't afford the mortgage and it just got so bad we sold the house and paid off all our credit cards. Anyway, long story short, we ended up right back where we were. Expensive rent, now more expensive than our mortgage was and suffering like that's our priority is just paying rent anyway the point is is i'm not going to get into the personal stuff and i'm not going to give you guys numbers my point is is that it got so bad that i just was like dealing with chronic stress and i opened up about this in the in the previous part of this particular video and in the meantime i ended up having like eye opening i don't even know what you want to call it but i would just call it a miracle at this point i just was like wait a minute what if I was going through all of this because it was going to let me become the person that I wanted to be. What if it helped me be more like the person that I would dream to be? Because I went through this, it now strengthened me into someone that I would want to be. And the more that I thought about that, the more peace I started to feel. Next thing you know, I was like, I'm so excited for what like is to come. I just truly felt like God gave me a peace and he's like, there's some, some amazing things that are gonna happen because of this. Because you suffered, you will understand the beauty of giving. That's, that's what it was for me. It was just the beauty of giving. And I was like, I know what it's like to be given something when you need it a lot. And it's, you know, I always cry. There was someone who once felt to just give us some money and it helped us pay a bill one month. And we didn't ask them. They, they didn't even really know us that well, but they felt like God was leading them to give us some money to help us out. And I cried. I cried so much and I was like, I want to be like that. I want to be that person. And so that's what happened just literally like a week ago. I was making my son a sandwich and I was like, you know, all of this that I'm going through, like it happened all over again, the whole debt and like, how are we going to pay our rent and what are we going to do, blah, blah, blah. Like all of that stress building up in me all over again over the same thing that I've been chronically stressing out over for years. It all just came full circle if that makes sense and i just had a moment of peace and i i can't even explain it. i don't even know how to tell you guys like i literally don't know how to explain it because out of nowhere i just like didn't feel stressed anymore i was like wait this is for good wait i had to go through this this may wait now i understand now i get it like it just clicked and i literally don't feel it yes i have some moments because it's like kind of still in me to like be like oh wait but then i like laugh it off so much easier now i feel so happy <laughs> i don't know how to explain it so i i felt like this video deserved to have a second chance at making a turtleneck even though i messed up again but that just goes to show that it's okay you know we mess up we might mess up twice but it's like what's your attitude about it and i feel like my attitude about this one is just like Oh well, I tried. <laughs> I just really want to share that with you guys and there's some amazing things that I'm going to be sharing about my channel and about some really, I don't know, exciting news to me. There's gonna be a lot of change. I'll try to keep you guys updated as much as I can but be on the lookout for a video that should be coming out by the beginning of February or at least within the first week of February. That's my goal, fingers crossed. I'm currently trying to work on scripting it. It is gonna be a massive change exciting things but don't worry it's still dressmaking it's still sewing but i'm gonna be adding some crazy amazing all kinds of things be on the lookout for a video coming out soon but before we get to that video i do want to share with you guys another one coming out after this one we're still here we're still here but i'm gonna let you know how my channel here is changing and what's to come that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope that my story can maybe help someone be either understood feel less alone or just just be inspirational somehow or encourage you somehow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you'll stick around for the videos to come and also the exciting news. I like want to tell you but I don't so if you're not already subscribed and you made it this far you might as well subscribe, join the family. Anyway this is the outro. Click on another video. Click somewhere. Click that way. Click on that. Click 
that video and go binge my my music. Go binge my stuff. Love you guys so much. Bye.